You've probably heard of being in the right place at the right time, but it's something else to have the camera rolling at that perfect moment. Capturing incredible footage has never been easier thanks to the smartphones in our pockets, yet some videos can still leave you with your jaw on the floor. With that, let's take a look at some unbelievable moments caught on camera. Crane Crash When we think of accidents involving vehicles, most of us picture car crashes, not crane crashes. But they certainly do happen on occasion, like in this extraordinary footage captured during the construction of a bridge in the Netherlands back in 2015. What you're about to see is something called a tandem lift operation gone horribly wrong. That large rectangular object being hoisted by the two cranes is actually a segment of bridge. The original plan was to use the two cranes to hoist the bridge piece and carry it along the canal on the back of two separate barges. But here, the lifting planners failed to consider elements affecting the crane's stability. Factors like winds, additional heavy objects on deck, and the relative heights of the cranes all came together to throw off the center of gravity. This caused the first crane's mass to fail, toppling into nearby buildings, dragging the bridge piece with it, and destabilizing the second crane. Amazingly, despite the screams and crashes, there were no fatalities or injuries. But if you listen carefully, I think you can hear someone getting fired. Avalanche Road the roads are full of drivers that move frustratingly slow, but very few of them suit the description of glacial pace as literally as this one. In January 2020, heavy snowfall in India's state of Himachal Pradesh caused a series of dramatic avalanches. One of these occurred on the area's national highway, causing a small glacier to begin advancing along the road. As you can see, several lucky, albeit reckless, tourists begin filming it as it advances towards them. It isn't until the avalanche continues to follow them around the corner with no sign of stopping that the danger of the situation really seems to set in. As the avalanche creeps forward, it proceeds to effortlessly swallow up someone's van, and it's a miracle it isn't pushed into the ravine below. I'm not sure what's more unbelievable, the avalanche or the tourists looking to get a photo for Instagram. Giant Squid in U.S. Waters Despite being able to reach almost 43 feet in length, giant squid are an incredibly rare thing to stumble across in the wild. Most of what's known about these deep ocean dwellers comes from carcasses washed up on the shore. That was until this remarkable footage was captured of a humongous specimen in 2019. What you're seeing is the first live footage of a giant squid found in U.S. waters and it's only the second time one of these gigantic beasts has been recorded on video. To snap the footage, the US National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration deployed a deep sea camera out in the Gulf of Mexico. Then it was just a matter of waiting patiently. Doctors Edith Witter and Nathan Robinson reviewed almost 20 hours of footage from the depths of the Gulf before uncovering this clip of one of the world's most elusive animals. Now that's what I call time well spent. Paraglider versus Dust Devil Nobody could ever suggest paragliding is free from danger, but the extreme activity comes with risks you'd probably never even consider. Take a look at this footage captured in 2017. Seems like a fairly safe environment, nothing hugely out of the ordinary, but if you look closer, you can see several paraglider wings are rolling down the hill of their own accord. It may not look like much, but the low, strong winds responsible are the early warning signs of a dust devil, a type of short-lived yet dangerous whirlwind. How dangerous? Well, as you can see, it manages to effortlessly pick up unsuspecting paraglider Boris Chaisko off the ground, flinging him up into the air like a rag doll. With the wind catching the glider at just the right angle in time, there was nothing Boris could do to keep himself grounded. Luckily, he was able to eventually detangle his harness and regain control without slamming into the ground. And thankfully he did, because a drop from those heights at the wrong angle could have easily broken some bones, or worse. The amazing recovery he made is a testament to his experience as a paraglider, and everyone was clearly very impressed. 
Spantic Rockfall. It's not every day you get to sidestep a deadly situation, but that's just what climber Cheyenne Onward did, and he's got the video to prove it. Whilst on a climbing expedition up to the Golden Peak of Spantic, Pakistan, Cheyenne and some fellow climbers stopped at the mountain's base camp. But as they prepared for a moment's relaxation, the area was suddenly plunged into chaos by a terrifying rockfall. We're not talking about little pebbles either. Cheyenne misses being wiped out by a gigantic speeding boulder by a hair's breadth and his companion was even more fortunate. Despite the rock landing right at one of the climber's feet, miraculously, no one was injured. The extraordinary moment is undoubtedly one of the luckiest escapes ever caught on camera and shows that you never know what kind of dangers will appear out on the trail. Sinkhole Collapse When you're having one of those days, have you ever wished that the ground would just swallow you up where you stood? Well, someone in Fukuoka, Japan might have wished for that a little too hard back in 2016. Without warning, a giant sinkhole opened up in the middle of the busy city. Thought to have been caused by water flowing into tunnels at an underground subway construction site, the gaping aperture reportedly measured almost 100 feet wide and 50 feet deep. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but that isn't even the most astonishing element of this story. CCTV footage from the site revealed that the giant hole was then repaired in just seven days. As impressive as that is, it's not enough to convince me I won't need a roadway testing elephant walking in front of me on my next visit to Japan. You can never be too safe. Trench Explosions There's more than one way to dig a hole, so why use a shovel when you can use explosives? No, that's not a rhetorical question. At least the specialists from Daikon Blasting certainly don't seem to think so. During their work on Australia's Atlas Pipeline, these explosive experts were called in to blast through the huge amounts of rock underground. It's a fast, cheap, and easy way to excavate and incredible to watch. In perfectly timed secession, the blast trail almost looks like a giant worm monster burrowing through the earth. That gives me a mischievous idea. Remind me later to post this video to conspiracy theory websites without any context. Total chaos. Mount Ontaki Eruption With any luck, you'll never have to encounter a natural disaster face to face. But for some, that terror becomes reality. Like in 2014, when YouTuber Kuro Teru uploaded their first-hand account of the eruption of Mount Ontaki in Japan, which erupted while they were climbing it. The terrifying great plume you see here is part of a fractic eruption, a stream-driven explosion from an active volcano which can result in a rolling wall of ash, steam, and debris. Although no magma or lava is present, that doesn't mean it's any less dangerous. These clouds can be incredibly hot and can suffocate a human in a matter of moments. As you can see, the ash cloud is incredibly fast moving and in no time at all, it's able to swallow up the unsuspecting mountain climbers. Karuteru explains in the video's description that they managed to make it to a nearby evacuation hut to take a breath before fleeing down the mountain. Considering the devastating impact of phreatic eruptions, potentially followed by rivers of lava, Kiru Teru was undoubtedly lucky to share this video himself. Lava Dome While volcanic eruptions can be terrifying, they can also provide us with moments of awe, even if those moments are occasionally a little puzzling. Like this incredibly rare photo of an almost perfectly symmetrical lava dome from 1969. The phenomena, which occurs when gas bubbles rapidly expand in molten rock, was captured during an eruption of the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii. It gets a little more incredible when you realize this dome is thought to have been at least 65 feet high. That's like having nine Shaquille O'Neal's stood up on top of one another. But what's even crazier is, in some circumstances, lava fountains responsible for creating domes like this have reportedly hit heights of 1,640 feet. My god, that's like, what, 234 shacks? If only lava fountains could play basketball. Convair 340 
Nightmare fuel exists in many forms, and as it turns out, one of them is watching a plane engine on fire. Filmed from the inside of the cabin, this harrowing footage was captured by a passenger on board the Convair 340 flight from South Africa's Pretoria Wonderboom Airport in 2018. During takeoff on a test flight, the plane's left engine caught fire and sources from the ground captured footage of the plane's trailing brown smoke along the runway. These planes under normal regulation should be able to function enough to perform an emergency landing with only one engine. But for whatever reason, when the pilots tried to maneuver the plane back to the airport, they were unable to and crashed shortly after. Two people died in the crash and the disaster was ultimately blamed on poor maintenance and ill-experienced pilots with the passenger's footage actually being used as evidence in the investigation. While the 18 survivors of the crash were undoubtedly grateful to survive, the inevitable nightmares of burning airplane wings are certain to ensure they'll never forget what they went through. Volcano Divers In 1969, man walked on the moon. In 2019, man reached the bottom of the Mariana Trench. But did you know in 2014, man dived into one of the world's most dangerous and inaccessible volcanoes? And man, did he get the footage to prove it. This is Sam Cosman, a man who has fearlessly stepped foot into the fiery depths of the Marum Crater in Vanuatu, an island in the Pacific Ocean. To give you an idea of how death-defying this is, more people have set foot on the moon than they have into this volcanic crater. As badass as he is, Sam obviously didn't just wear shorts and sandals. For his adventure, he wore a Nutex Extreme Protective Suit that helped him withstand temperatures of, by his estimations, about a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. And if the heat alone wasn't enough, he also braved the unavoidable lava splashes and frequent molten lava projectiles, all in the name of science. The descent enabled Sam and his team to utilize technology to generate a 3D model of a lava lake the very first one of its kind. If like me, you think jumping into a volcano is ironically one of the coolest jobs on the planet, be sure to check Sam's social media links in the description below. Which of these moments caught on camera left your jaw on the floor? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.